Hi guys, this is Ashima from ELT. Just want to tell you, if you have a question like this in 11 plus, how would you do it? How would you do it? Basically, they're asking you to know the meaning of the words, which mean the same. So if you are given something like this, it's really easy to opt the one, cancel the ones you know the meaning of. So let's look at the first one is brave. And the options given to you are noble, fearless, capable and tough. In this, you know that brave means someone who is really brave and cannot be novel. So you cancel that out, cannot be capable. Capable is you're capable of doing something and cannot be tough. So the only option you're left with is fearless. So let's look at the second one is guess. So if you have, what does guess mean to guess something? And the options given to you are consider, estimate, belief and idea. So you know that guess basically means to guess something. It doesn't mean to give idea. So you can cancel that out. Then you have another one, which is belief. You know to believe in yourself, to consider, to consider something. So you can opt, you can cancel all these options. Then the only option which you are left with is estimate. And we can keep going like that. And you, another one is worth. Worth means you're worth something. It's what does it mean? Payment, value, expensive and reward. So if you look at that, reward word means cannot be a payment obviously cannot be expensive and cannot be reward so the only option you're left with is value and if you keep going like that you have to think logically what do you think the answer could be so if i go on the next one is to assist some it's study to study what does study means to teach someone student learn and education study doesn't mean to teach someone so you can take that option out Student, study and student don't make sense. So you, it cannot be that. So you take that out. Education is to educate someone, cannot be study. So the only option you are left with is learn. And this another one we have is assist. To assist someone, to treat someone, remedy, cure and aid. To treat someone cannot be assist. Remedy is to, rem it cannot be remedy. Cure is to cure something. And the only option you're left with is aid. And if you can keep going, this another one you have is gl glad. Glade, sorry. And you have the options given to you are comported, pleased, commissal, and witty. So you know that you can take the options out. And the answer for this one would be someone who is very pleased. Glad and pleased, they go together. And this is the way you can do it. And if you can just take a random one, which you all think you will be, you don't know how to do it. Let's do what does bendy means to bend something. And the options given to you is broken, flexible, snap and smicky. So you can take the options you don't know. And you know that flexible means someone with something which you can bend. And you have another one which is like ring. So you know what ring means and the options given to your ring are around shape, bend and tunnel. So with this one, you can also take the options out which you think won't do. Ring, it's something like it can't be around, cannot be a shape, cannot be a tunnel. The only thing which is left is a band. So this is the way how you do it. And you don't have to get confused. Just try cancelling the ones you think won't go in. And then go with the ones you think are more logical. They make this type of questions just to scare you that 11 plus is really scary. But it's not. And vocabulary is also not scary. So you can't just keep remembering vocabulary all the time. The way of doing that is the way I've told you. And another way of doing vocabulary is you could make a flashcards. Or you could also... Write down the meanings of the words you don't know. Try making your own dictionary. Making your own dictionary will also encourage you to write down all the questions you don't know from any of the 11 plus A practice papers you do from now till June, July. So that would be the time you will see that your vocabulary would be filled with a lot of words and all that words would be the one you don't know. And then you can just make your own flashcards. Buying flashcards in the market and going with the third party from you 
people who don't even know the meaning of the words and they just make their own flashcards you can do it by your own self and it'll be saving so much money i hope this video is helpful and try writing the meanings of the words we have not done and i will let you know if you have done it right or wrong that's all for today thanks for joining us guys